Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and we have finished our base and are now ready to upset the spokes. So I wet the base of my basket for about five minutes, so it's, it's good, it's pliable, and it's time to upset our spokes. So we need to go all around. and get them upset, so. so that they'll stand nice and straight on the sides of our basket. And I'm upsetting right at this twining. Do you see right right there, right right at the right at the twining? That's that's where I'm I'm upsetting my spokes. Okay, I've gone all the way around. Now we're going to begin with our first couple of rows of weaving. And I have some 3 8 inch flat that I'm going to start with. Again, I need to determine which is the right and which is the wrong side. I can tell that's the wrong side. That's got little, little hairs that are sticking up there. So I want that to the inside of my basket. I can start anywhere on a round basket that I want. Um, but remember, always start it on the outside of one of your spokes. So I'll clip it. I, I start it about three fourths, two thirds, three fourths of the way over. And clip it in place. And get my weaving nice and tight against that twining and I'm going to use clothespins ever so often along the way to help hold it nice and tight and to hold things in place. It's my dog with allergies. Poor thing. We've tried everything for her. She just keeps sneezing and sneezing. If you have any dog allergy tips, love to hear them. Post them on my blog. Okay, here we're, we're back at the beginning. Okay. This is, this is where we started, you see that in there? So we need to go over, go to the next stake, spoke, go two thirds of the way over, cut it, and we're going to tuck it in. I need to cut that just a little bit shorter, cut that a little too long there. Don't want those ends to show. That's what will give you a nice high quality looking basket as if those ends don't show. All right, now I'm going to turn my basket about a quarter of a turn. And see on this row, it goes under this spoke. So this time I want to start it on top. So I get just my nice over under weaving. So again, I'm going to start it about two thirds of the way over on that spoke. just continue on around. My dog's a beagle. I don't know if beagles are prone to respiratory allergies, but I'll tell you, since we moved to New Mexico, she sure got them. Poor little thing. keeping the weaving nice and compact and tight. And after you get those first couple of rows in, you don't need quite as many clothespins. Okay, here's where I started. So again, I'm going to go over to hide those ends. Go to the next spoke. 
give it a trim and tuck it under. I'll use a clothespin to hold it. Now, I'd like to start some color. And for this basket, I chose Rust. And this is Rit Dye Rust. And I am using 11 64 inch flat. And, you know, really, it's your basket. You can use whatever size or color you want here. Remember to run it through an old towel or a rag to get some of that excess color off so it, your basket doesn't bleed. Okay, I started here. I want to move about a quarter of the way around my basket. And I'll start this row right here. Now, for this basket, I'd like to continue up the sides in color. Oh, I don't know, six or seven rows. Whatever seems about right to me. So there's, there's where I started. We'll hide that end, overlap it, and tuck this in. And I'm going to go ahead and continue weaving up about that far in color, just basic over under weaving. So I'm going to continue on with that and I will see you in a little bit.